Now, we know anxiety is a real issue facing all frontline NHS staff and care workers and concerns about their mental health, not just now, but well into the future, have been raised by the British Psychological Society based in Leicester. Earlier, Dominic spoke to the Society's president, David Murphy. Well, Mr Murphy, thank you for talking to us. First of all, can I ask you, how prepared psychologically is it possible for health workers to be as this crisis unfolds? Well, Dominic, it's people who work in the health service. They're used to working under pressure and they're used to dealing with distressing situations. But what's different about this crisis is the intensity of the demands and the fact that people are working in unfamiliar roles uh, and often in providing care in a way that's different to how they would like to provide the care. How can you sort of build resilience while this crisis is actually happening? Is that possible? Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's the gist of our um, British Psychological Society guidance is about simple steps that we can put in place to try and protect psychological well-being of staff. And they're often just very sort of basic things like making sure people's physical safety needs are met, trying to facilitate peer support and also normalising psychological responses. So the message that it's OK not to be OK. Even when this crisis fades, people are going to need support and help, aren't they? Yeah, no, in, in, in the guidance we talk about an active phase where people are, are, are very much sort of focused on the here and now and then a recovery phase. And I think that's absolutely right. So even, even after the sort of uh, surge, it, it will take people uh, a time to, to sort of recover from this. And, you know, we need to put in place appropriate support at the appropriate time. OK, David Murphy, thank you very much indeed for talking to us.